Bonjour, mes amis. I want to talk to you today about these fun little treats, the merveilleux. What is that? It's French for the marvelous, and as you can see, these little treats are definitely marvelous. We're seeing these in bakeries in New York and LA, but today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make them at home. They're simply meringue discs that are covered and coated in whipped cream, and the flavor variations are endless. So let's get started. I'm going to show you today how to make very vanilla merveilleux. First, we need to make our meringue. So I've lined my cookie sheet with parchment paper, and I'm using a two-inch round cutter to trace circles. Do it about 36 of these. After you've traced all your circles, flip the parchment sheet over. Now you have templates that you'll be able to pipe your meringue onto. Now let's make the meringues. Into your mixing bowl, put the meringue powder, the quarter cup of water, and the pinch of salt. I'm going to use a whip attachment for this. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, you have a hand mixer, that's okay, or a stand mixer. Use a hand mixer with a whip attachment. If you don't have a whip attachment for your hand mixer, you can do this with a lot of elbow grease and a regular whisk. Now we're going to whip this until it forms soft peaks on high speed. Once it gets to soft peaks, begin gradually adding your granulated sugar and your vanilla extract. Whip it until the mixture forms stiff peaks and triples in volume. This will take a few minutes in that time. After your mixture triples in volume, it will be quite stiff. You'll have stiffs that look just like this. See, stands right up. And I'm going to pipe my meringue discs using a tip 1A, which is a large round tip, and a disposable decorating bag. Now you're going to use the circles you've piped as a guide to pipe two inch discs. You want them to be about a quarter of an inch, between a quarter and a three eighths of an inch high. So just going around just like that to pipe meringue discs. Do as many as you can, again, someplace between 30 and 36. I'm just going to pat down any tips, and I'm going to bake these in a preheated 250 degree oven, that's 250, not 350, for 35 to 40 minutes, or until they feel really firm, but you don't want them to actually brown. After your meringues bake 35 to 40 minutes, just cool them completely on the counter, on a cooling grid, of course. Now we're going to make the vanilla whipped cream to fill and coat our merveilleux. So into the mixing bowl, Pour your heavy whipping cream and add your confectioner sugar. I'm going to use a whip again for this because we want to beat a lot of air into this whipped cream. Again, you can do this with a hand whip if you do not have a whip for your stand mixer or hand mixer. Start out on a lower speed, but you are gradually going to increase it. Once your whipped cream comes to soft peaks, not stiff, we're going to add our piping gel and our vanilla for flavor. And we're adding piping gel because it's going to stabilize the whipped cream for us. And what that means is that the whipped cream won't get runny or return back to its liquid form because the piping gel is going to continue to make it strong and stable. So you'll be able to store these in your refrigerator for up to 24 hours. And the vanilla. We're going to put the whip back on and we're going to whip this on high until the mixture forms stiff peaks. And coming from soft peaks to stiff peaks with whipped cream really doesn't take very long at all. So there you go, it's quite stiff and standing straight up and that's exactly what we want. Now we can fill and finish our merveilleux. Fill another 16 inch disposable decorating bag fitted with a tip 1M with the whipped cream that you made. We're going to cover one third of our discs with a rosette of the whipped cream. As you can see, I'm gonna do several in a row. I suggest you do all of the first third and then put one on top. Turn it over so the flat side is up, just like if you were doing a layer cake. Two layers of meringue here, and then repeat with a, a secondary rosette on top of each merveilleux, and then one final layer of meringue, again turning it over so that the flat side is up. After you build all of your merveilleux, you're going to want to freeze them for 30 minutes so that they get nice and firm, they'll be super easy to coat. When your merveilleux have frozen for 30 minutes, they'll be nice and firm and you can actually just pick them up just like this. The meringues are firm so you can hold it on either side. And I'm using a decorating bag 
again, the one that I filled with my whipped cream and the 1M tip to pipe a little bit of my whipped cream and then I'm just very messily spreading it around the sides. You just need to scrape a thin layer on. It doesn't need to be thick. And then we are going to roll it in our topping of choice. And here I'm using rainbow sprinkles, but you can do all kinds of things like chopped nuts or chopped candy melts, anything you like really. The, the options are really endless. Now if you want to do it a different way, a little bit of a different way, you can just, so you don't have to refill your decorating bag so often, take the whipped cream right out of the bowl here. Instead of using it to pipe up the sides. Either way is fine. And for this one, I'm going to use some sliced almonds. And just again, rolling it to coat the sides. And then I'm going to take my tip 1M and my whipped cream to simply finish off the top with a big rosette of our vanilla whipped cream. As you can see, I only took half of my Merveilleux out of the freezer at one time, and that's so they stay nice and hard and easy to ice and work with. So work in batches, it'll make it a lot easier for you. But that's how easy it is to make this really impressive treat. This very vanilla Merveilleux recipe is available for you at Wilton.com. We've also got a triple chocolate Merveilleux recipe and look for lots of great new flavor combinations and ideas of Merveilleux all year long. But you can just call it the marvelous.